Thank you for picking up the sticks. This is episode 99, Sticks Gaming Podcast. I'm Mike Kernet. To my right, Mike, stay Carnia. What's going on? To my left, Art, he's big in France, Rosian. I'm big everywhere. Well, but you're really big in France. Are they known for having small people? No. Uh, I actually don't think they're... Well, everyone's small in America, no. if you believe, you know, <coughs> charts. But, um, if you believe, what, North Korea? Well, I mean, if you if you look at the general population of the you know, of the world, I was just saying universe of the entire universe, aliens and all, we're <laughs> tall, we're tall people. We have measurables on aliens. I, have, I haven't seen these. I think we have. We have, we have a space force now, so why not? I mean, Hell yeah! The space force has been announced. It's actually, are they out there yet? I don't know, but are we they patrolling the high skies. They still have their uniforms. Yeah, camo. Does it look like a Star Trek? Uh, what does space camo look like? Is it just black? No, it's just regular camo because they're fucking idiots. Like, you, like it's like if you're in the space woods, space woods, they can't see you. I mean, and the logo literally looks just like a Star Trek logo. Like, if if, if you don't know if you've I seen was, that, I was like, going to ask if they were like Star Trek uniforms dude. and like they're different colors based on the ranks. There's no more the like, general stars or anything. It's Commander Red. <laughs> that would have been that, 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 that just would have been fa- yellow camo, blue camo. They really should just stole it. That would have been fantastic. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and look up the, the they have an emblem. I've seen the emblem. It's it's. It's absurd. It's it's a, like <laughs> they're like. Let's see this will go pie. Like, there's no way they're gonna approve this thing. Everyone's gonna know this is a Star Trek. Hey, I just want a video game out of it. All right, no. <laughs> you've gotten one. Yeah, called Jedi Fallen Order. There's your space. Yeah, Force. They game. should. Their, their camo should have just been. Have you seen that? Like that really, really like super black paint. Yeah. That like. You oh yeah, like, yeah. It doesn't reflect anything. Mm-hmm. That should have been. It it absorbs all light. Absorbing light. black. Yeah. Yes. And just be a bunch of head and hands walking around. That would have been perfect. <laughs> That's all. I, I think I we should. I think we should wrap it up. We're just we're not going to get any better than this. <laughs> That's been space talk. <laughs> God, you. The pre-show was health talk. Y'all missed that. Yeah. Space we're just talking about all the interesting let's, shit today. Let's talk about some video games. So, um, you know, like last time we were talking about predictions of next gen, and then Phil Spencer happened, Hello. and we got some. We got some Xbox stuff. Hi, Phil. We got some kind of PlayStation-y stuff as well. Like there was a kind of talking about. Trademarks, um, trademarks, yeah. and, and some stuff like that. So little what? little tidbits, nothing really big. Uh, if you don't You're have, have to it, talk on, about that. If I you don't have it on, there's really no, I don't think it's right. we'll dive into yeah, it. We'll get into it. So I'm not familiar with that. I demanded news and I got news. That's good. Thanks for listening. Oh yeah, and that's the news. That's all. <laughs> extra, extra. Uh, it's time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the bed. Steak, what you playing? Not much at all. Um... <laughs> I, I love pl- this show. Yeah. Mike, you have to carry this one. Well, <laughs> it's, that, it's that awkward time. Well, I was very sick, so, and just. You think that would be a good time to play? You would think it would, but it's not. It like, really isn't. Like, when you're, to, when you're to the point where it's no. like, I can't concentrate. When I'm, when I'm sick with, like, the flu, all I want to do is just, like, be a vegetable on the couch. Exactly. I, I just like, want to lay there. Maybe my eyes will open and see what's on the TV. They're probably going to be closed. I'm going to be sleeping. <laughs> I set up all my work away match and stuff. I went, you know, horizontal. Yeah. And I watched all of Watchmen. Yeah. I had the oh, flu. Nice. The Watchmen TV show. Nice. Yeah. And I maybe it was the flu. Maybe it was the show. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't know what's well, good, going on, but I'm going to watch the next one because I don't want to get up. Good for you for even being able to concentrate on something like that, too. Because usually I can't even concentrate. Like, I, that's where I'll put, I'll put something like The Office or something right. like that on where it's just like, because I'm going to be in and out of sleep for the next few <laughs> hours. Um, but uh, but right before I got sick, I did pick up uh, Darksiders Genesis. Okay. Uh, and what? So on Switch. Okay. Uh, so since this God, was... Have you seen the tweets? I'm, it's for the sh- audience. The, the, most, <laughs> the most negative man on the internet right here. There's, well, there's, two, there's two people right now that didn't know that. The most negative man on Twitter, right here. Yeah, only on Twitter. Um, Those two people knew that. Uh, <laughs> you, have, you have your Facebook moments. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's it's not as God as forbid much. A, a new phone comes out and you don't get it. For hey free. man, that's right. Hey, don't worry, I'm out of that now. I got out of that stupid program from T-Mobile with this one. Um, so so yeah, so so I picked this one up because it's like that Diablo kind of style, yeah. like. Um, and, but I knew it had like a little bit of a spin to it. It was still like that, but not completely. Uh, and they do add, they do make some changes to it, uh, which are kind of fun. Um, game's tough. Game's tough. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. Um, you you really need to run around and collect those like the health orbs that drop when you do like the special attacks and stuff. Uh, so it still has like if you played a Dark Setters before, when you when you get an enemy down enough, you can hit the button to do like the like the special kill, and that's how you bump out like extra health and stuff like that. Okay. So that's in this as well. Um, on Switch, I've been, I have not, I still haven't had a chance to try it docked mode. I've been playing it portable. Um, it looks like ass. 
<laughs> it looks it, bad. Is it because like you're far away? Is that kind of? Is that the I don't issue, know because or is it like just... I, I, not necessarily because I mean I have Diablo three on That's there, right? And it looks it, it, and Diablo three looks way better. Like like Diablo three still. I mean, if you compare it obviously to the consoles, it doesn't look great, but it looks way better <laughs> than this. Like so, it's like I don't know what's going on with this, um, but um, but. I mean, it's fun. It's it's fun. It's interesting. The uh, you know, it's the strife is hilarious, um, and having him have strife being kind of like the, the Joker, and then you have War, who's more like the serious character. With those two going side by side, is kind of neat. Hmm. Uh, there are times where you got to switch between the characters because they, uh, as you move progress, they gain different powers and like. Uh, but but so strife has this like ghost hand that you can like grab onto things and help swing you along okay. like, uh, like gaps where now what I just unlocked with war is this um, like boomerang thing which you can throw to hit like switches okay to cool. unlock doors and All stuff right. like that so there's times when like there's still there's like a big puzzle element so like Diablo Diablo really doesn't have puzzle elements it's just walk run around like yeah. run around loot and everything this actually has puzzle elements to get through the levels and stuff like that and then it also has like different qu- like so you have your main quests that you're trying to do but then there's different like like mini quests throughout as well so like you that are like optional so it's like hey like kill the 10 these 10 enemies that are on guard and like usually they're by themselves like standing like you could see them standing like over the edge like looking like going like looking like this okay and you know that's one of those guys and okay. there's th- different little things like that give you a little more extra perk a little more reward um so it's neat um i'm gonna i mean i'm, I'm gonna definitely stick with it just because like i like the game i do like the art style and everything i do want to try docked mode uh i hear docked mode does look better okay um but uh and again like i said it's one of those things where it's like i always you know i, I expect switch games obviously to you know i mean i don't buy it for necessarily the graphics you know i'm buying it because of portability you know right, right, right but it's just like but when i know how Diablo three looks. And then I see this, I'm just like, God, and like, and like the environments are so much more bland too than Diablo three. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm really surprised it looks that crappy. It runs smooth, but I'm sure that's because they kind of shoot down uh, the graphics. I, quite I would a say bit. They stole from here to pay Paul on that yeah. one. Um, and it, I mean, and even the smoothest, it's not in that thing. I think if I'm not mistaken, I believe Diablo run in portable runs at 60. Hmm. Um, this runs at 30 for sure. It does not hit 60. So, um, but yeah, it's it's fun though. If you like the dark side, if you like the dark lore, you're gonna you're you're, you're gonna want to play this. You're gonna it's gonna be fun. But I I rec- if you're going back for if you play at your consoles a lot like at home, I recommend probably grabbing it for Xbox or PlayStation. Gotcha. That's it though. That's it. All right. Yo, what you playing? Same stuff as last time. Uh, more Rainbow Six. Did you get um, the, did you get the new Kool Aid Man that they have in there yet? It's not out yet. Oh, I thought no, it was out already. No, it, well, it's out on the PC te- <coughs> test servers. Okay. Uh, um, the next season doesn't start till like March 10th. Just watch the video. They have a new operator who his oh, thing no. is he just oh, runs no. through oh, walls. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I feel like if, the second I do that, I'm just surrounded by bullets. Like, right? I'm jumping yeah. into a room, yeah. and then <laughs> it's just like, oh, shit, they're everywhere. It's one of those things, like, I see I can see the value in something like that, but, like, the way they implement it, I, I like... I'd have to be really desperate to do this in the middle of a gunfight because <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, they put like they made it so he's not Superman. Like if you run headfirst through a wall, he is like concussed. Like the vision's blurry and everything's kind of off kilter. And um, I saw it. I'm like, what's what's the benefit of doing this? And if you're like in the middle of a fight, I get trying to change position, but and it's not like it your co- shit's off. It, yeah, I mean, it's not like you can use it even defensively because you're gonna make you're making a hole in the wall. Yeah, but and they're, and they're becoming behind you. Right. Holes in the he's, wall he's, aren't always bad. But he's on offense, though, right? No, he's a defender. He's a defender. The attacker. Okay, that the makes new attacker more is uh, a chick that has a uh, drone that is like a hologram of her. Right. So you drone in with this thing that's her, and you know, see where people are, and huh. they shoot it, and then. You, um, so yeah, he's a defender. So he can, yeah, he can make those holes, so you can have more moving around. Okay. Um, he also has the ability to jump up through open hatches. Okay. Which is, I think is way more useful than blasting a hole in the wall with your body. God, I just... That's got to be fucking terrifying, though, when you're on the other end of that. All of a sudden, like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, ho- I'm hoping that if you're, like, right by it, it affects the other, the other team, If the too. person's on the other side of the wall, it knocks them on their ass. All right, good. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so, if, I mean, if you know someone's right there... Yeah. Right. It's a surprise. It's almost like, you know, putting fuses <laughs> bombs in there. Like, you know, if somebody's on the other end of it and you put them in there, they're going to be in trouble. Right. All right. Um, so, yeah, I've been just goofing around doing... I've been playing the game, trying out new things since it's the end of the season. And right. My rank is pretty much set for the season. Mm. So 
Um, what level uh, diamond are you? I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm high silver. Ooh, which is not good. <laughs> um, I don't think I think I was in silver for a day when I was playing with you guys. I'm in like the meaty part, the meatiest part of the bell curve as far as like where everyone is in ranks. I got you. Like high silver, low gold is like the bulk of the player base. Yeah. Um. So last night I played around with Ash and I got an ace, so that's how I started off my Ash Wednesday hey. celebration. Hey, hey, there you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I've talked about. Thank you, Mike. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. I was trying to see like if the GameStop by me had like an Ash like doll or something. I was gonna bring it and just sit it here on the table. <laughs> Dude, there was. All right, unrelated. I'm watching the news today. I'm just doing work and watch the news today, and they bring us. I think it was just she was a senator on. And she had an ash like on her forehead that was like this, like it was, like it was huge, it was gigantic. <laughs> anyway, you gotta get the advertising out there for the church. It, it, you could even know if you didn't know what Ash Wednesday was, you'd be like, what's wrong with her forehead? Yeah, well, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a cross. <laughs> she was just a, like right, a, a smear. <laughs> did, did she Hand come, she just gonna have a coal mine? Yeah. <laughs> is she going to war right now? What's going on? <laughs> um, outside of that, I uh, played a little more Final Fantasy VII. Um, I fucked myself as far as getting the trophies. Oh no! Nah. So if I ever want to play into the game, I'm probably gonna have to redo like the first 13 hours. The Barrett date. The Barrett date. Yeah. Well, I messed up, and the I'm I'm not gonna get. That's the what Ares. I messed up, and I was like, all right, we'll fuck it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not gonna get the Ares limit break one because I'm already at the point where I need to go to the Temple of the Ancients. Oh and yeah. That's where she, you know, bites the big one. Yep. Um, and I still have like another two limit breaks I need to unlock. And I'm oh, like, man. I'm not gonna grind. It's so much. With her. It's so hard. And, and, but like before, I looked up like how I you know how to level up her limit break. Like I was playing with like Barrett and Tifa in my party most of the time. Okay. So there's a there's a solid like half of my time that I've had someone else in the party where clearly she needs to be there from the second you right. get her to right. have a shot at that trophy. So at this point, I'm just gonna finish playing the game and get everything else, and then I'll at, at some point in the future I'll go back and redo those two. I don't know how I missed the Barrett one because I've been like I said, I've been following a guide, so I must have not had a guide open at some point. And, mm. Had I was a conversation like, I shouldn't have had, or I was like, there's there's like two pivotal points where you make a a, a choice like with what you're saying, which doesn't right. seem like at the time doesn't matter, but affects that later. Are you are you so, gonna play the remake? Yeah, I'm going to play. Like, did you find, I mean, I mean, I, I assume you just want. I mean, if you don't want to grind this area now yeah. as well, because in two oh, months, I'm not saying like I'm gonna power through the game now and jump right back into it. Okay. Okay. You know, it's on my PlayStation. I can go back and redo those two trophies whenever the hell I want. I got you. Like, even if I get to the end, if I have some of the other characters, you know, I don't have their final limit breaks, I'll go right. back and grind that later. I'm yeah. not going um, to sit there and just bore myself to tears right now. <laughs> I mean, that, that could be a mindless time killer down the road. I got For you. sure. Um, but, yes, I do plan on playing the remake. Uh, if for no other reason, then there's, like, nothing else coming out around that. Okay. That I plan on playing at least. I mean, I know this quietness has been so nice. I know, I know, honestly, I know. That, but yet here I am not playing anything. I know well. Doom Eternal's coming <laughs> out soon, but yeah. I'm in the middle of trying to get a house ready to sell, so it's not high on my priority list. And I'm probably like, not going to have time. And I also, mean, I, I Bethesda games go on sale like immediately. Like honestly, God, like I feel like those are, that's going to be twenty bucks within the next first two months of it being out. They usually go on sale quick, and but I, I mean, but also too the, to get through the story. I mean. Those are never longer than right. 10, 12 yeah, hours right. tops. Totally. I mean, it's, it, Doom's not a franchise that I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I got to play the next one. I mean, no, I'm so it, it's, an, it's an enjoyable game. I'll yeah. play it at some point. But between that and the you know, bullshit I'm dealing with in life, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to buy it and have it sit in plastic wrap for sure. four months. Like, um, yeah, so that's it. All right. Um, I have not been playing a lot either. However, I have been playing one of a lot of – one thing a lot. Yeah, I know. I am almost 50 hours in a Death Stranding. Holy crap. Isn't the evolution of wow. Paperboy neat? It's... I don't know why. You laughed the other joke, but not that one. Because <laughs> I don't know... I don't, you're not going to top Ash Wednesday. You should, you should just stop right now. Um, but, like, I, you know, I was thinking, I was just like, no, the whole... You hear all... you know. Yeah, I was like, I get to chapter three as quickly as possible. Yeah. You know, I didn't really do that. I just kind of just went along and I got there pretty. And then I was in chapter three forever because yeah. I was like, I must build that road. Must build the road. Must <laughs> build the road all the way to the end. Have to build the road. Have to find ceramics. Have to build the road. And I built the road. And I built the road all, all the way as far as I could in both directions right now. And I, I mean, I'm like 
three more away from building it, I think as far as I possibly can. So oh, wow. I've almost built the entirety of the road to do everything I need to do, which makes yeah. the auto, I don't, I don't know if you guys played along to the point where you get the auto deliveries. No. I have two robots that do deliveries for me. Oh, that's nice. But they, but like if I don't have a road up or something like that, they can, they're like 90% damaged by the time they get oh, there. So it's like yeah. kind of pointless. But now right. I have, if I have roads going, they just, that's great too. But they come up, like they come up, they have all the car, the car on their back, on their like their top, and then they just walk out, and they have boots on. They walk in and they just sing a song as they walk out. It's, it's, it's very, it's great. So, hang on, let me ask you a question. Yeah, here, since I never got this far. So, in that game, there's like people leap behind ladders and ropes yep. and shit yeah, that you go. can use. So, these roads you're building, is this something that everyone would have to do on their playthrough, or like when you build this road, is this going to be there for other people? It's there for other people. Okay. So, like, I like anyone who's like sharing that server with me, I don't know exactly how that the uh, you know the minutiae yeah. of all that works, but like all the time, I get like you no know, every you remember we get the paint yeah, is like you, someone used your ladder, someone right, used your right. rope. So I get like uh, someone gave a thumbs up to your yep. structure or whatever. I get someone use a road, someone use a road, someone use one of your roads, <laughs> road, and I get like five thousand likes at a time. Yeah. Like it's nuts. How much? Because I did I did a, a lot cool. of that work. Yeah. So it's one of those things. A is super helpful for me. Right. Like when I I, I knew like I, I was getting to a point where I had this big story mission where I had to go pretty far. I'm just like, then the train was garbage. Like it was one of those things. Like I'm gonna. I carry a purse on my back, like I'm gonna kill this lady on my back <laughs> if I don't have a road. So I was like, all right, put that on hold. Let me build this road. Built that road, and I just got I got in a, a a car, put it in the side, and just went all the way there. And <laughs> nice. it was super. It was super easy. Like I'm yeah. getting. I, I I'm almost like guaranteed S ranks in all my deliveries nice. now. Um, so I, just, I mean, it's still a few I gotta do. And with the best part about it, with the roads, is too, is like it goes over like the BT areas. It goes over the mule area. Oh, yeah. So it's just like. Nothing's bothering me. Like right. I'm just doing my thing, and it just makes th- those pieces significantly easier. But I don't. I really don't. I have not identified why I can't get away from this game. I don't. I don't know what it is. I the you don't. I mean, I, I've gotten like I said, I've gotten pretty far. They keep telling me I got like basically one more connection to get all the way to the coast at this point. Um, now you need to set up toll booths. <laughs> but like. <sighs> Man, um, I it's like it's by my hope by the time I get to the end of it, I know why I like that game. But it's like I feel I, I re, I'm really kind of at a loss. Like this the, that loop, it just keeps me going. It's like all right, we'll just you know one more stop or one more thing or like okay, well yeah. I'm already going back, so yep. like I'm gonna pass these three things. I'll, I can put them on that little card and they can follow me. And and it's just like and then it's just constantly getting that feedback of finding things and. And you know, every once in a while you get into a fight, and you gotta worry about like sometimes the BTs are in certain areas, sometimes they're not. So when they're not, like in those areas where they usually are, and, and they're not there from time to time, there's just a pile of stuff in there. So I'm like piling all that stuff in, oh, yeah. and, and and getting out of there before anything happens. But like <clears throat> at this point too, I think I've seen <clears throat> everything that they've showed in trailers. I think I've now seen. Okay. So like everything going forward is gonna be like new and new for me. And like it's it. Even though, like, we you know, we were watching all these trailers, and you're like, what is going on? Like, you know, <laughs> this guy, what what the heck? Now, it makes a little bit more sense. Like, it's not clear, obviously, because it's... Sure. Mm, Nothing's you know, ever... A fever dream. Fully, that you, cl- right. fully clear. Right. So... I mean, it could just be, like, the constant feedback loop that you're getting in the game. I, I think it has to be. Like, you, you, know, you know, little, you know, quick trips, deliver packages, pick up packages. You're getting the feedback from people using and liking your road. I think, I think there's a lot of it. I think it's just, like... This, you know, second I know, I realized like these roads were so helpful to me, and like I'm seeing like all these other people using them or whatever. It's just like I don't know what those likes do for me. I really don't know if they do anything for me. But maybe you'll find out at the end of the game. I'm hoping I find out at the end of the game because I have yeah. like something like four hundred thousand at this point. Because I, I turn on the I turn on the game, they're like five hundred forty people used your roads, and it's like, oh my god, you know, it's it's nuts. Get, get that toll booth going, man. Well, my pee My new thing, my new thing I'm doing is like because I'm in a mountainous area now. Which is terrible because you know it's snowing and the, they have like the time fall. You know it's rain, but it makes right. everything accelerate time wise. Snow is even worse. Like it accelerates it like three times as fast <laughs> as rain. So I, you know, they have zip lines. So I set up a zip line like network now that I'm doing. So I have like a zip line network <laughs> when I'm up there. I have the road network when I'm down there. So I'm yeah. just like. <laughs> Easy as pie this game is. Like, I mean, you know, it's, like, it's just so easy if you build the infrastructure. It really, honestly, like you know, I, there was a couple like you know, some I, you know when you when you <coughs> get to the, get to the area, you put them on the network, and then you know these things pop up. I'm kind of looking at the map, I'm like, well, I'm like four zip line anchors away from this being just like not a problem. A theme park, <laughs> yeah, like for real. Like I can go from the main, uh, the main city in in that like southern part. 
to a guy's lab at the top of the mountains in two zips. Just zip and zip, and I'm there. So it was just like making a delivery is super easy. I throw on my back, I zip, zip, and I'm there. And, you know, S ranking. Here's some more ceramics <laughs> so we can build more roads. It's beautiful. Yeah. It, it, my guess would be like. Part, a the feedback is is helping you you know be into it, but also like the building out of stuff. It sounds like you're doing yes, like it, the fact that you're like I can I, I can make this better if I do that and that, and I'm, you know I'm sure that loop is helping you like even if the deliveries aren't mm-hmm. you know really uh, hitting the positive vibes. You're know, like I, I do two more of these and I go do the thing I want to do. Right, and it's just and it's I, I do like the story is intriguing. Like there are some very you know very. I mean, you're trying to reconnect the United States, so that's right. kind of that's a big thing that's happening. Right. There's, a lot, there's a lot of little stories that are happening along the way, and you know, you meet people and what and whatever. But like, yeah, man, it's just I, I can't. It's like you know, it's I got I I and like I, I know it's also like the planning. Like I you know I'll go, I'll get my get my stuff, get everything I think I need. <coughs> then I'll go out of the little you know tunnel that you go out of to get into the world, and I'll just sit there, open up a map, being like, all right, what am I doing here? Right, you know, and I think is all those things too. Like, it's like a mix of getting that positive feedback. It's a mix of planned working. You know what I mean? And it's just like all these little things, and it's like, and everything kind of plays off each other. And there's so many things yeah. you got to manage, and 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 there's, but there's also these moments of just zen where you're just like kind of walking in a field, and then that's when he decides to put a song in the background. Like, there's not a very, there's not a ton of music in the game, but like he'll play like you know the music in the background. Then you have this moment, and you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's the BT like alert comes up like, oh, right. and like that, and that 180, you go from complete chill, just walking and enjoying the, the beautiful game, by the way, like, Oh my God, like the, this, like the, the, like every once in a while, you just kind of look up and look into the distance and be like, Jesus, this it's is insane. unbelievably yeah. beautiful, beautiful. And then, you know, you're hunkering down trying to not to <coughs> be eaten by yeah. these, you know, oil monsters or whatever the hell they are. Um, but it's, I'm, I'm, ho- I'm hoping, you know, I, I don't know. I look at how many chapters that there are in the game. I think there was 13. Okay. And I think I'm on eight. Okay. But if you look at, because you have same deliveries and general deliveries. Right. Like the same, like, there's only, like, when you get to the last, like, five chapters, it's like, there's one delivery you got to do. Okay. So I think there's going to be a lot of fighting and monologue and things like that. I think I'm got at it. that point in the game, so. And then the 45-minute cutscene. Before I got here. I was like, well, yeah. I was like, well, I'm going to leave a little early. I'm going to go to, you know, I got to go to Walgreens. I'm going to go to GameStop and then maybe eat and come over here. And then there was a what 40. What GameStop for? I turned in a bunch of games. Oh, okay. I'm building credit towards next generation. Nice. I got almost $200 in a card. There so you go. Feeling good. But, um, that was I saying. And it was just like, all right, I get to this place. 45 minute cutscene. I was like, <laughs> well. Drive through it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping I'm hoping I, I'm going to get to the point where I'll be having this <coughs> done for next episode, so I can maybe wrap my mind around the whole thing and, and really see if all this time I'm putting into it was, was was you know worth it. But man, it's 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 a, it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy experience and very unique. And um, yeah, it's it's just bewildering. That's like why I just can't stop playing that game. I mean. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I haven't gotten ba- gotten back to it, but like those couple of days, I, I played quite. A, I didn't know two days. Like, I, it was probably like two solid days. Yeah. I played it, and I played it for like almost three hours each day. It was like I didn't want to put it down. Like, I didn't. I, it was one of those. Like I said, like it was like I don't know why, but I'm thinking about it. I want to go back to it and like all this stuff. And then holidays came, and I haven't been back. That changes. <laughs> that changes a lot. Yeah, it is, it's it's just wild, man. It's just it's, it's one of those things I, I think about when I'm away from it. It's one of those things, the type of things too. Ooh. Like it's, it's got you. It's got yeah, me. Oh yeah. And, and it's you know like, what am I gonna do next? And it's, 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 it's part of the game too. I really well, the last thing I'm talking about this game <laughs> is we got all night. There is such, there is such a flow to it, and like I don't want to say like the progression or like the you know like but it's like this like the nuance of like the minute to minute is just like you're almost like in a flow like that where you just like. You're, you know, you're, you know what you need to do. You know what you got to get to and things like that. And every single time, like, when I boot the game, like, turn the game off, boot it back up, I need, like, a minute to be like, okay, what was I trying to accomplish yeah. here? You know what I mean? And it's just like, it's, it's almost, I almost don't want to break that cycle either. Where it's just like, if I do, all right, one more thing here, one more thing here, one more thing here. But it's like, it never stops. You know, yeah. it's just, yep. there's always another delivery. Of there's course. always one more thing you yep. find. Yep. Like, oh, crap. Okay, I'm going. I know I'm going to, 
you know, South Knot City, I see all these packages for there. I'm going to throw them all on this thing, and I'll go. And, oh, look, a 340 ceramic. Oh, my God, i got to get that to build that road. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Which is all the way across the map. But I can get, I got a truck. I can, I can drive it back. And it'll be fine. <laughs> so, like, um, yeah, man, it's 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 bewildering and uh, great, and I'm, I'm loving it, and hopefully I'll figure out why. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I just don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay goes coming on, Nesca boys. All right. Uh, February 28th, Metro Redux for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. So that's the Metro and uh, 2033 and Metro Last Light. Uh, and the reviews have been very promising for that. Uh, also on February 28th, Romance of the Three Kings 14 for PC oh and PS4. God. I know. I couldn't. When I saw that, I was like, I need to mention that. 14 Jesus. of them. I mean, it's a big series still. It's huge. Um, One lesson Final Fantasies. Yeah. Uh, March 6th, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX for the Nintendo Switch. And on March 11th, Ori and the Will of the <gasps> Wisps for PC and Xbox I gotta One. Get, I really got to get this Finally. Death Stranding done. So I gotta... March 11th, you got time. All I know is that they're saying that game is supposed to be three times as long as Ori, and I died like 400 times playing the first time. <laughs> so, like. Well, you're going to die 1,200 times? Or... That's, that's how math works. Mm hmm. Um, and then, so, for March is coming up next week. So, we have our PlayStation Plus and Xbox Games with Gold. Yeah. So, for PlayStation Plus, we are getting the Shadow of the Colossus remaster. I had to turn my physical copy in. That's, that was my urgency. When it still has, you know, some oh, kind, yeah, well, of, some some kind value. of trade value yep, to it. Absolutely. <laughs> I always do that every time I oh, put yeah. something on there. Uh, and Sonic Forces. Is that a good Sonic game or a bad Sonic game? I believe that was the one where the reviews weren't... Com it was the first one in a while where they weren't terrible. Oh, okay. But they weren't great. Okay. And I think it was one of those things where people were so like, "It's a Sonic game." Right? Yeah. It was one of those where I think where people were like, God, "Sonic is like, a beef sandwich of video games." <laughs> this is the first time. We, yeah. <laughs> nice. Someone out there might be laughing. I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. That was definitely for the people at the table. Um, yeah, I remember people saying like, "This is the step in the right direction," but it's still not there. Gotcha. I think it's what people were saying for that one. And, but Shadow of the Classes. That's Shadow of the Classes. That's great. awesome. I'm glad I hauled up for all this Ooh, time. So that'll, be, that'll be great. I can play it on the third generation of systems. Yep. <laughs> This will be my third time. It, I, I played, played, I played, on I played two it, and three. I played on PS2. I played the re, the HD remake in 3D on uh, PS3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't played this one. Yeah, I played. I, play, I mean, I said I bought it when it first came out, and I played it to like the fifth or sixth one. I think. Okay. It's again gorgeous. Yeah, unbelievably gorgeous. I have a feeling I'm going to load it up. I'll do the first classes, and that will be it. Like just just see it because it looks so good. Uh then your Xbox games with gold uh, on Xbox One, Batman, The Enemy Within yeah. from March 1st to the 31st, which yep. is awesome because yep. I, never, I never played season two. I'm sorry. I never played it. I bought it like as soon as oh, the never, thing was out. Oh, man. It's yeah, I never bought it either. So Really good, guys. Uh, I'm super sad that I'm never going to make it anymore. Well, yeah. maybe. Maybe they will. I think, yeah, that, I think, that, was, I think that was on the trademark list they still have. I think it is. <clears throat> uh, then uh, Shantae, uh, Half Genie Hero from March 16th through April 15th. Mm -hmm. If you've ever played one of those games, those games are a blast. Great platformers. Kind of hard, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are difficult. You wouldn't think it by looking at like, the art style Yeah, game, no, but, but hey, it, they're tough. They're, yeah, they're a lot of fun. Uh, and then for Xbox 360, which is also playable on your Xbox One, uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2 from March 1st through March 15th. So now we're we talking have, about it. So now we have all three. <laughs> so now we got Lords of Shadow, we got the Mirror of Fate, and this. So I liked the first the one, thing. and I never even, I never, I never I touched heard this the one second one. Bad. Yeah, I never, like, touched, I never it. touched it, but I'm excited to, hey. for free, I will be jumping in. I love free. And then another Sonic game. Uh, this one is very good. Uh, Sonic Generations. Can't from imagine March why. March 16th through the 31st. Yeah, really Sonic games all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you've never played Generations, Generations was really fun. That was really good. Uh, and then some games that have been added uh, to Xbox Game Pass recently. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. That was on 360. Yep. Kingdom Hearts 3. Two Point Hospital. And Yakuza 0. Woo-wee. That's a good lineup right there. Something for everybody. That's fantastic. I downloaded uh, uh, Two Point Hospital because I want to at least get it, get that Did play it. Not yet. I want to play it for like uh, I want to play it for like an hour or so, and then because that's something that's like that's perfect for like the Switch. You know what I mean? Like that style of game. So it's like, but it's also forty bucks. I don't yeah. want to spend forty bucks. That's way too much. So that's why I was like, you know what? Well, let me grab it on Game Pass. I'll play it for like an hour or so just to make sure it's what I 
think it is. And then when I see it for like 20 bucks, I'll probably buy it on Switch. Because <laughs> that's like, that just seems like the perfect watching it TV. Is. 100% Chilling is. and playing that. So, but yeah, I'm excited to give that a, give that a go, though. Nice. The extra, extra. <coughs> it's time for the news. The news. Uh, okay. So let's see here. Uh... CD Projekt Red announced that The Witcher 3 is getting cross save between Switch and the PC. It's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Hopefully more games will do stuff like that. Would be even better if they included other consoles. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's that's a weird frontier, I think, in, in next gen type stuff too. I think I, I'm hoping that there's more it seems like they're gonna be more working hand in hand with yeah. people and trying to sell you a service on the platform mm-hmm. you play on, but I don't know. We'll see. Well it's like that um what was that other game? Divinity two that's now on Switch. Uh, that that also is on other consoles, but yes. it has the cross save with uh, PC Correct. as well. Yeah, but yeah, but that patch for The Witcher is out already, and um, and it has added a bunch of graphical ish uh, things too. Dock mode looks a little bit better. <coughs> um, it actually makes portable mode look pretty impressive. It already looked pretty impressive for what it was, right. but for what it is, again, it's it makes it even a better. I just I want, <laughs> I want everyone to take a minute to really appreciate CD Projekt Red. Doing a patch on an old game, yeah. When they have a new game that's gonna be coming out here this year, that's supposed to be like a big deal, yeah. And I mean, I'm assuming we're talking about CG Project Red again when we talk about the nope. Series X. Never. <laughs> oh. Yes, we will. Be. I'm gonna talk about. Yes, it. yes, we will be. So, like, it, I think that's just amazing that they're that they're still like that dedicated to, oh, yeah. like, you know, doing the, the best for all their products that they have out. Absolutely. I think it's amazing. Good, yeah. good on them. I mean, you have to imagine they they sold a decent amount on Switch to be, still be putting effort into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure it sold they're, quite a they're bit. They're doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, PlayStation has pulled out of PAX East and GDC. Um, some people are interpreting that as they have some... They're, they don't... They're hiding something about PS5. Um, maybe it's just they give a shit about the well-being of their employees and the coronavirus thing is... Uh, kind of going nuts and why and conventions like, are notorious for spreading fucking illnesses <laughs> yeah i mean why if you if you if you it's one of those things where like if you had that thought and then you're like no we're gonna go anyway like you can't imagine like right. what that, how that would go well, not, but, not only that but like they're a huge company if you want to look at it like kind of like cold and just like actuarial it's a huge fucking risk to send your employees to someplace that is notorious for spreading illnesses and you knew this was a risk right yeah well and also they were the first ones to pull out right. so um yeah, so that's what that's another reason why people i think were speculating and stuff about like oh well what's going on and then since then people have slowly been yeah, right. pulling from everything e- ea <laughs> pulled out of uh gdc yeah. um kojima's kojima. not going to something yep yeah um <coughs> so yeah that's a thing <laughs> that is a thing well, I think it's it's just interesting how like with the whole next gen thing, like everyone assumes Sony's hiding something, and I just assume they're playing their hand close to their vest and they're waiting for Microsoft to put all this information out there so they can go, oh yeah, we have that plus one. I, I why I mean like I can get the like they've already done a little bit of this and Microsoft's doing a little bit of this now too. It's like get the boring stuff out of the way. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we'll do yep. Games later. Be all fine. Well, that's and be, that's, I mean, for Xbox, that's gonna be E three. Yeah, hands down, of course. I said, like, I don't know. I don't did, know why Sony would do anything before E three. Didn't PlayStation kind of start getting the boring stuff out there with that initial Mark Cerny uh, interview? Well, right, I mean. right, yeah, right. exactly. Foundry. Yep, yep. And uh, that's, that's the thing. Like, yeah, they're hiding something. I'm like, no, they <coughs> they did a huge discussion about features and functionality. You guys just forgot about it yeah. by now because <laughs> everyone has the attention span of like a three month old. And it's the boring stuff. Like you know, right. what I mean, again, it's not like it's, it's stuff that like very a very small percentage of the gaming community and games media actually give a crap about right hmm. like that's that's oh good you have that many flops great show me the moving pictures i don't know what those flops mean until i see video um can we just have them simicast like exact same time no both things so then no one knows what the other one's saying and no. just give all the details out there no we'll figure, I just, we'll, I just, we'll figure it out later <laughs> just, i just want all the details like i just want everything from both of them all the details I we, get, we got, after E3. Oh, we got... Exactly. So we got... What is it? It's basically I, March. I get what they're doing. I just don't like it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, <laughs> I get what they're both doing. I just don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> um. So, rolling off of that, uh, Phil Spencer released a big 
blog post, I guess, I don't know, announcement, press release, whatever, about a bunch of the hardware specs for the Xbox Series X. <laughs> I, just, I just love, I, I, have, I just have a vision of him just being like, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Post. Writing it down. Post. Yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> click. Right, I said it. Post now. What are you doing? Like, did you do this? Yeah, I did this. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Why'd you do this now? Because I'm tired of waiting. Who yeah, cares? We, Go we, give me my Halo shirt. Yeah, we know this. Is, we know this. Is, we know this is what it is. It's just, I, <laughs> so, uh, glossing over and I guess getting into some of it, what was announced? Uh, they announced that the Series X will have a next generation custom processor uh, using AMD's latest Zen 2 and RDNA 2 architectures. Uh, delivering four times the processing power of an Xbox One. Uh, has 12 teraflops of GPU performance. That's a lot. It's more than Stadia, by the way. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, Stadia made a big <laughs> deal about that in their presentation. Uh, which, it's, it's that's twice that of an Xbox One X. Yeah. That's insane. That is crazy. Uh, so, oh, my, before, while you read ahead a little bit. Yeah. So, my favorite thing about this so far is someone um, did a did a graphic? It was the the Xbox Series X next next to a uh, a stack of Game Cubes duct taped together, just like to give you like <laughs> an idea of the comparison the differences. It was, like, and, and it, it was a and it was a warehouse of Game Cubes. It, it was it was like four fridges like t- duct taped together. You know, it was it was really funny. I wish I could find that image again. Uh, variable rate shading, which will allow them to allocate resources to the things they specifically want. You know, high graphic fidelity on, mm-hmm. so it doesn't have to be a whole background and environment of 4K, 60 frames per second. You could focus on the character or whatever little bit that's, of it you want. That's interesting. That's, and that's gonna be a lot of power that's focused really cool. in one area. You that's know what really I mean? Like, cool. I think that's that's, yeah. that's an, I've never I don't I've never heard of that before. This press briefing. Yeah, neither have I. But it, it allows them to, you know, better use their the resources. You know, you, you don't have to have all your graphical power on the whole thing to make yep. the one part you want to look better. You know, if you have, yeah. a- well, that's the thing. Think about it. Like, like, especially like halo, there's so many cutscenes that take place like outdoors right. where it's like, you could blur that whole background. But if master chief is in, is the highest 4k quality possible, it's going to look incredible. Mm-hmm. Like and that's what people are want to see. Uh, hard, hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing. I think everyone kind of knew that was coming. I think both companies have talked about having yeah. ray tracing on the next gen. Uh, SSD storage, uh, basically faster load times, uh, quick resume feature. It will allow you to suspend multiple <coughs> games uh, simultaneously. Which Very cool. I know you've talked about using the suspend feature before. I don't mm. know if you do. Mm-mm. I do yeah. it all the time. No, I, I, I don't awesome. do it. That's cool though. I don't. I don't do it because I tried doing it once, and when I picked the game back up, it was just chugging. Okay. And it was like if you leave your computer on for a week, you know, it's sure. going to start chugging at some point you restart it and it works fine and yeah. the very very first thing i thought of on this is how many times i don't get to playstation and xbox whatever but how many single time i've i've turned on my playstation and been booted into minecraft I'm like son of a bitch. i was <laughs> playing minecraft last time i was playing something else and it's like they have the idea of having like you know minecraft being stalled and whatever i'm playing being stalled right, and right. it's like when the kids jump in they're right where they want to be when right. i jump in i'm right where i was you know yeah i think that is just a very cool feature. No, it's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, and something I didn't ever thought of before. Not the, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know I wanted it. I knew I didn't like the thing was that was happening to me. But right. I, didn't know, I didn't. I never thought of a fix. I was just like, this is what it is. Right. Well, right. The other thing too with that is, um, so with doing that, it's like you can suspend one game and go play another one. So right when you're playing Death Stranding and. We all jump on to play Rainbow Six. We're like, hey, Mike, come play Rainbow Six. You can suspend Death Stranding. Like, no, no, that's not happening. Play, well, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> exactly. you, you can suspend your Minecraft and come play Rainbow Six. Um, but it, like, that's always been a problem. Like, you're playing right. right you're playing a single right. player game, and you're like, I gotta I'm, get to I'm, I'm in the middle of this mission. Yep. I got to the end of the mission. Oh, there's here's a ten minute cutscene, mm-hmm. and you know, you, people are you know trying to play a game with you. There or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's neat. Uh, dynamic latency input, which. Uh, Allows for more responsiveness over con- from controllers and <coughs> other devices. Uh, HDMI 2.1, which allows uh, auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate. Uh, those are both graphical things. It also sounds like it can like change the settings of your TV. Yes, it's yep. supposed to detect what your TV can do and, and do basically it. set the settings. Yep. That is awesome. Yep. Yeah. So you don't yep. need, you should need to go into the settings anymore when you right. get a new TV and go. Okay, now change to 4K <laughs> and now put HDR on. Put always, game mode on. I always go to I always go to yeah. I forget what website I go to be like until they tell me exactly where my oh. contrast oh, yeah. and everything should be. I always yep. do that. Um. 
120 FPS support. Uh, it'll allow people to reach up to that. Their standard is going to be 60 FPS on everything. Basically, it's going to be like certain, like old. I can see older games kind of getting that boost, like 1080p, 120. Yeah. But then do I have 4K 60? Yeah, that's going to be the standard. That's going to be awesome. Uh, backwards compatible across all Xbox uh, generations. Uh, smart delivery, which is pretty cool. This is the one that. But it's backwards compatible with everything that E1 is compatible with. Like, no new sounds. Right. Like, no, nothing new is going to be. It's not like universe, it's, like any Xbox backward, game you put in. Right. Uh, it's, it's backwards compatible with, with all the stuff that's been backwards not, compatible for no. the one. Yep. Correct. And plus the whole, I believe, the whole Xbox One catalog. Correct. Yep. Um, smart delivery. Uh, this mm. is the way they're marketing this is uh, they're allowing uh, publishers to. And it's going to be on all Xbox uh, Studio games. That when you buy a version of the game, whether you know you buy the Xbox One version, you're getting whatever upgrades are available for the Series X. Um, it's going to be an option that they're going to notify all of the publishers about, and it's up to them whether or not to enable it. Mm -hmm. um, so really cool future. They'll, they'll let you see who the uh, real scumbag publishers are. Yep. Um, well, I, and that's the thing. I, that's what I love that Phil called out. Oh, yeah, we've made this available to all other publishers. Right. He threw that out there right there, right away. Right. Um, I do enjoy that transparency. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and like I think I'd mentioned to you on on Twitter, like this is this is kind of expected. I think at this point because yeah. th this is basically you're getting a new PC. You know, it, it, with everything being backwards <laughs> compatible, you know, it's like it, this isn't. It's called they're calling it a new generation, but it's really not much different from going from. Uh, you know the PlayStation 4 to the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One to the right. the One X. It's sure. like you know you have the game already. It works. Uh, here's the the high resolution texture packages that you can install for the game if you yep. have the the X or the Pro. Um, so it's I, I do like yeah like you guys so like they called everyone out there so no one's gonna be you're not gonna be buying uh, you know whatever game in September and, and yeah here's the here's the HD remake for the Series X right. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. oh the cost. Oh, that'll be $60. It's a full retail release. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. um, but right when that was uh, announced and publicized, that's uh, CD Projekt Red came out, and they made a post saying, you know, nobody should ever have to buy the same game twice. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 will have that feature. Big deal. <laughs> it's not, I swear to God, I'm more excited you're, than I know, that you're sounded. so sick. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, that's awesome. I mean, I was already going to buy it on Xbox anyways, but that just confirms it anyway. No. It's, and, and, I mean, it's, you know, all the first-party stuff, so, like... Also, it's going to show up on Game Pass. It's going to have like that's awesome. It's going to have, it's going to be a state, it's, it's going to be, be a, right. One. I mean, it's in like all. I mean, it's 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 again, it's <laughs> it goes in line with all the other customer first stuff they've yeah. been doing for the back half of this generation. Yeah, and that's amazing too. What do you think about it? Cause especially the Game Pass thing, like that. It's like I assumed, but they never specifically said until now. So that's awesome. So that means like day one, I basically got, I've got Halo Infinite, and I've got the brand new Forza because we all know Forza is going to be a launch title as well. Yeah. With my brand new Series X, like that's awesome. Yeah, that's really yeah, cool. it's the the next note here is that Game Pass will continue to have uh, first party exclusives at launch on Game so Pass. So good. This is gonna be nuts when those like fifteen studios ever start like cranking stuff. Oh, out. absolutely! Like it's gonna be crazy. And that's that's it in a nutshell. That's a whole ball of wax. Hell yeah! That got me excited. I mean, that that was enough to like. All right, get me pumping again. Was, get me going it again. Good, it was a good like. Life. I mean, it's, <clears throat> yeah. It's there's not, there's mean, a lot of technical they, they, stuff. I said they, they had a good mix there. They had the you know digital foundry, you know computer nerd teraflops talk, but they also had the you know Game Pass and the HDMI stuff, which you know anyone who you know goes out and buys a 4K TV. I mean, you, you, I think you've had a you know, you've bought the system and you've hooked it up to your, you know, new TV and why isn't this shit working? Oh, I got an HDMI 1.1 cable. I need a 1.4 or whatever. Right. Um, so I think a lot of, you know, they, they, they <coughs> had a little bit of, for everyone there. Yeah. And, and like, it's all sounds great. Yeah. You know, I, and is it all, you know, I mean, at some point in time, you know, there's going to be some kind of bad news somewhere because all these things end up having something, you know, I don't, you know, but ultimately like this is, I think this, you know, we talked about this months ago, how, you know, I still see the clearest path to next generation supremacy with Microsoft. And I thought they didn't quite take as much advantage of that going forward. But like putting this kind of stuff out there and like owning the last three days of news has been a, is a big deal. Yeah. And like some of those specs are kind of nuts. 
and and very forward thinking in terms of just like the quality of life improvements of the system itself that's going to affect every single game, whether it be like what you're talking about with H two point one or the right the uh, the way that they're going to automatically know, <coughs> know what version of the game that you what system that you're playing on, so it'll just be like, all right, you need this texture pack, you know, yep. here it go. So I think that it's just a lot. It's but one of my main complaints about the last, you know, Xbox One, it still is, is their ecosystem kind of sucks. And like, I'm, I'm really, I, I'm dying to see their UI, and I'm dying to see what they do with that. Also, I think they have a, a new, not like, like a, a new dashboard for the Xbox One out better. soon. I or have, out I, I got, well, oh, you have the insider. I got the insider. Okay. I got the insider preview of it, and it's, it's a lot cleaner. I would um, say, like, you, when I, on the rare occasion I do boot up my Xbox, like, the, the interface. It bugs me to no end. Sure. Well, every system, like every system they've had, the original dashboard has always been just atrocious. Just like the 360. Just it give was me the blades. So back. bad. Just give me the 360. Until they, until they switched to the blades, and the blades was the best thing ever blades for the 360. Good. And then they switched it from there, and it was like, all right, what? Because they, then they were making it more like Windows based. It was like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> go back to the blades, please. Like, this sucks. Um, but no, so, so that's. So we're saying like it's great having like all this positivity from all this stuff and and everything like that. Uh, I was talking to one of my buddies. They're like, "This is something that they're not talk- discussing yet," and he's wondering. And I, I, so I wanted to bring it up to you guys. Um, so the so the whole smart delivery thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. he thinks it's gonna be for digital only. I Beca- feel like. I mean, it's well, here let me let me give let me give the quick explanation, and then you yeah. can see. So, because he's saying, so it's like, okay, so yes, if you buy it new, like, okay, you got it new, whatever, you have it, you keep it, or whatever. But what is that preventing someone who bought it pre-owned? Like, if they go to GameStop, buy it used, and then so like basically that means like CD Projekt is getting none of that money then, because mm-hmm. when you buy it used, they don't get any of that money. GameStop gets that That's money, right. and then if you give, the, so that means then you're going to give them the Series X version for free as well. And that's mentioned too. At some point, you figure. GameStop's going to charge less for the Xbox One than the Series X version, and then so like they're just losing more money. Then basically, like the company's not getting any I'm, money out of I, them. I, 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 I don't, don't think they're going to have one skew, no matter what. And the whole idea right, is that, yeah, it saying. will know what system well, you put it in, the, and then yeah. do whatever. So, um, but, but okay, that makes that no, that I, makes I sense. That, but then, but from the pre-owned aspect of it, that means like CD Red would getting zero dollars, and they get the Series X version with it, like. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a. I, I didn't think about. I'm like, well, that makes. I'm like, why does that matter? And I'm like, well, that's kind of a good point, actually. Well, but like, a, I think a big part of why that's even possible and doable now, and why it's not that big of an issue, is there. This is like a direct you know, counter talking point to how last gen was handled, <clears throat> and there was no backwards compatibility at the launch of last gen. And PS3, you know, the reason they had to do remakes is because you can't play ps3 games on a ps4 because right. of the cell processor absolutely um but that's not an issue now because like i said they're basically just upgraded you know newer com- new computers it's like they still run you know it's the same architecture same processing scheme mm. kind of it's just yeah. better faster stronger um it's like i, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue because i think it's like it, the way you get it now I, I, if i go out and buy a, a xbox one game and plug it into my launch xbox you know put the disc in my launch xbox one i can play it if I take it, you know, to the next room and I plug it into my One X that I have in my living room, I can still play it, but I might have to wait for a download of 4K textures sure. uh, for a minute. So yeah. I mean, it's not something they're doing differently now. And like, they, they, Phil Spencer's even said, like, for the first year, we're not going to have different SKUs. Like everything. Right. Is, all right. Right. And like, I feel like you, even if you buy it used, you still own the license to that game, no matter where you got it from. Mm. Like, and you got it from like technically a third party. I don't sure. know how that works. No, I think it would be like now if I, if I go buy Red Dead Redemption Two and put it in my OG Xbox, like you said, it's gonna play what it is. If I go over to your house and plug put it in the X, and it'll ask me if I want to download the you know right. five thousand gigabyte version of Red Dead Redemption Two, and but it still plays off the disc. It just plays off the disc plus the patch. Sure. So or it, you know it'll do what it does now. It but for every game installs off the disc onto your hard drive right. and applies the you know, right. uprise patch. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. If I, if I had to put it, money on it, I don't think it's okay, And I'm hoping not. I, 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 yeah, I was really hoping not because it's like, well, that sucks because like, I know they want to push kind of digital, but at the same time, there's still plenty of us like and, that. But, like, that's because like, yeah. so, like, I'm, I'm just hoping they're a little more transparent when that comes like 
closer, especially closer to Cyberpunk's release, because I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah. So I need to know if I'm if I need to buy it physical or digital. Yeah, right. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on physical, but um, I'll buy it digital if I if that means getting the Series X version. That's right. the only way. Um, but I just I didn't I didn't even think about that when he brought that up. I'm like, well, that's a good point. I didn't I didn't think about that. But I mean, I mean, like just, uh, I know this is <coughs> different ecosystem and long long time ago, but. When PS4 launched uh, on PS3, I bought Battlefield 4, I think it was, mm. and it gave me a license for both systems. Oh, nice. So I, I was able to install it in PS3, but I was also able to install it in PS4. Oh, very cool. Just, okay. Um, so it's not like there's no precedence for this. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I just think it wasn't really doable with the last generation sure. to you know to current gen because but now the backwards compatibility is a right. thing, and you know allegedly that Sony's sense. Sony's going to prioritize that as well, and. You know, it, to me, it, it seems very similar to going from the launch generation to the current 4K generation. Mm-hmm. So going from the the one to the one X, the PS4 to the PS4 Pro. This is just like this is the classic iPhone, right? Yep. iPhone six, yep. iPhone six S, a little bit improved, and, and then I, the seven. And honestly, yeah. the way things are going, in three years we'll be talking about you know right. the Series X Pro or oh, whatever, right? Know. Right. The Series tri- Triple X. There we go. Yeah. It's already. It's, it's, it's basically. I was just it's, say. it's basically already like the, you know if you, you take off the you know, initials. It basically is the XX at this point. Yeah. So like why not? That's right. Anyway, the sex box. Yeah, that's right. Sex <laughs> We're getting box. closer and closer. I just need like just really one are. more I mean, like we word can, in we there. We can just start calling it that. It's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is like again, you know, to kind of we don't we know we know a little bit of details about the PlayStation Five. <laughs> We know a little more of the technical details about this. There's still a lot to know. And like we said, this is kind of some of the more boring-ish stuff mm. that they're getting into now. At some point, they're going to blow out being like, here are the features. Here's the, you know, here's what, um, here's what the, you know, what the UI looks like. Here's what the games are going to play yeah. ultimately is a big one. Right. And that's, I think they've learned from, <coughs> learned from past experiences that nobody wants to sit at the whatever, whether it's their private event or an e3 presentation and hear about teraflops and yeah. how many gigahertz look at the processor this. is look at this you know powerpoint presentation of right. how much more powerful this is than the last one like P- okay the ps4 ps4 pro presentation right. the four pro that was the, the playstation worst. three oh the my xbox God. one launch one, the, the, the launch e3. xbox one yeah oh, the, the e3 the launch the e3 was good the e3 yeah, was, yeah, was better games. yeah the launch one was just like oh that was like but that's, NFL and, TV, and that's TV, like nfl madden the strategy with them putting this stuff out there, it kind of aligns with what, you know, reading around on Twitter, like what a lot of people are saying, like these numbers are all great and impressive, but 12 teraflops, what the hell does that even mean? What's a teraflop? What's the point? And like, if you re- you know, you can go Google it and find out what it means. But like to put it in layman's terms, it's like your truck has 400 horsepower. What does that even mean? It's a unit of measurement that lets you know the performance of uh, right. exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Just, like, just know it's double the Xbox. Yeah. One X. Which is nuts. I mean, and, I mean, we, I mean, some, some of the stuff we have seen, that is an engine. Well, not an engine, but like on based on the system was the, the Senua Saga stuff, which yeah. was stupid. Jesus, <laughs> like, that was unbelievably so dumb. amazing. Oh my god. The um uh, the Halo Infinite stuff, which I don't know if that was again, I don't I don't remember if that was in made yes. on the system or not. I think it was. And that also looked great. Yeah. So like it's gonna it's gonna be great, guys. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna no, be a good time. Gonna you're gonna be hold on, hold so on to good. your butts. You're gonna be poor and it's gonna be great. Oh, also, that's that's poor. No, that's okay. That was one of the things I want to bring up with the Sony stuff. So they talked about like the the I forget what they call it, but like the cost to produce each one. The is, components is, is four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. yeah. And that doesn't even include like packaging, packaging, shipping. Nope. You know, if someone wants to make some money on this thing or what. So like. Yeesh. I'm honestly, I mean, it still wouldn't surprise me to see Sony come out and say we're sale price is 450. Yeah, they've taken a loss. Well, I, I think I think five, I think five would be still fine, but it, it, I, I'm pretty sure on PS4 at launch they took a loss on it per no, unit sold. That worked out for them. Um, and the, the, the <laughs> thought behind that is okay, you know, we sell this, we saw our hardware get some people's homes, they go out and buy games for it. Every game published on their system, they're getting a cut of correct, yeah. not to mention yeah, yeah. their well, first party games, yeah. they're getting. The whole kit and caboodle. For correct. sure. And I think and I Plus, think um, the only reason why they're able to maybe do that is because of the success of PS4. Mm-hmm. If the PS4 wasn't as successful, I don't think they would be able to do that. If I still I'm still on the five hundred bandwagon personally. Me too. I, um but ne- neither one would make would surprise me. No. But but that's just like but five hundred for me would be like, okay, that means Sony's like, okay, we're not willing to take a loss, but we're definitely breaking even. Where that's why I think Microsoft 
is gonna they're they have the money though they're gonna take a loss on the system and like man, a Sony, big loss Sony has the money too I mean granted they're no Microsoft but, sure and that's just, but like but I said, I'm, that's pretty, I'm also pretty sure like when you talk big picture Microsoft like Xbox the Xbox brand is not held in the same regard as their cloud services oh no not at or all Windows no, yeah, not or, at all. You know, Office yeah. 365, all that type of stuff that really drives revenue for them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the whoever the, the CEO of Microsoft is not going to be like, you know what? Break the bank. Do whatever you want. Well, give, it, right. give it away for a buck. I don't give a shit. Right. We got billions of dollars. It sounds, the Series X sounds so damn expensive. It like, does. It seriously <laughs> does. And that's the thing. Like, yeah. So listening to a podcast on the way over, like they're talking like, all those num everything that was announced there sounds really impressive, mm-hmm. and it sounds really expensive. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "This, you know, we could be looking at like a six hundred dollar, you know, launch price. If they go six hundred and PlayStation's able to go five hundred, they're dead out of the gate." I know, but is it, oh man, like it's you're probably right. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, what's going to happen is, I mean, no, we're, we're you know we're in this right, like we 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 pay attention. And we're gonna buy, you know, the things that we want the most. But a lot of those systems are, don't go that way. They're bought, you know, by mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whatever it is. Right. They're gonna come out there and be like, "Yeah, there's a new one." I'm like, oh, right, that, one's, but, that one's a hundred dollars cheaper. So right, exactly. As I say, yep. when grandma and grandpa go to Best Buy and be like, "Oh, I want the new video game system for my kid," and the salesman's like, "All right, we got the Series X for six hundred. We got the PS Five for five hundred. Uh, they do pretty much the same thing." Right. You know, which which one do you want? Oh, they do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Take the cheaper one for a hundred, you know, hundred bucks cheaper. So yeah, I mean, again, we're, this is all obviously speculation, but like, I, I man, I, 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 I just, don't, I don't know where this is going. Like, I, I know, I, I know. feel, I feel like, in like, and I don't know, so I don't know what, how, no, knowing the few things <clears throat> that we do know, I just feel like this is gonna be a very expensive holiday season. I'm good. I just, yeah. I just want to know the price. Just I want, I want to price. know prices. I want to know, and you're not gonna know the price till three. I want to know what I'm playing. I want to know. I just want the price. Uh, un- unless they do like a private like hardware event before E3, you're not going to. Well, there was E3. there was the rumor that supposedly Microsoft is there now. The Microsoft rumor has started that there's going to be something before E3. So this way, E3 they could focus strictly on games. On games. I think which, and that, which that would make sense, sense to me, to me but too. I don't think it's, but I mean, we're talking like, to me, that means, okay, what, the last week of May? So two uh, weeks before E3, what, I mean, what else, maybe what else, like, what else are they going to show at this point? We've seen the system. Well, right. I mean, we, we got some of this. Well, we'll see. Out. We'll finally see it in person because they have not showed like an, a legit hardware yet. Fair enough. They haven't shown a legit hardware. They haven't shown somebody standing there with a controller actually playing, playing it. Yeah. They haven't talked about hard drive size. They haven't talked about price. Um, they haven't talked about other services that may be available through the system. That's true. So I like to get like the really like, nitty gritty of it on that yeah. one, and then Absolutely. just then oh. like and then it's the just do, do, do the thing is like, we game. got sixty games, twenty world premieres, and you'll hear about them at E three. Here's my dick. And, yeah. and like, fifty exclusives. Yeah, right. Fifty timed. Not saying what kind. Just fifty exclusive. Regional exclusive. World premiere. <laughs> <laughs> you cats trying to warm my feet. Good for you. <laughs> Good for the cat, too. The cat's liking it. I can hear. <laughs> He's enjoying it. All right. That's the news. That's, geez, that's, that's the show. show. That's well, the show. Yeah. Well did, you, well, did you see what the Sony um, uh, new trademark is on their controllers? No. Suppose. Yes. So <laughs> th- this is actually, I, I think this is actually Have you rather. Have seen this? No. Okay. I thought this was actually rather interesting. I figured we'd just no, no, touch no. it yeah. really, really quickly. This is your show. We're all here. <laughs> um, <laughs> that. So supposedly the controllers are going to have some kind of like like treadmill sensors where it's going to be able to detect heart heart rate heart rate and like and how like much you're sweating how much you're sweating I and mean, stuff that, like that. I mean I think that's actually kind of neat because like that yeah. would be like like and if that data gets translated back like to the developers like like imagine playing some kind of like um like uh um what am I thinking uh fear effect or like uh no what am I thinking clock tower okay. clock tower oh God, back clock in the tower. day I'm going way back but clock tower back in the day had this like fear meter mm-hmm. basically kind of thing and like imagine like that like feel it feels off of what you're how you're feeling while playing and stuff like I mean obviously it won't work for everything but they'll be kind of I mean it, you pe- could make people, some on, cool people on streams kind of do that like their own way now yeah. oh like, sure they'll, they'll get a heart rate monitor wrap okay, around their chest yeah. and have a thing display mm-hmm. on the screen it's, when they're playing you know until dawn or whatever yeah, I, just, I mean it's an interesting idea I think it would be put in like four games and then that'd be it I don't disagree I mean I don't disagree that I think there's I think there's, there's definitely gonna be some uses and, for it and there won't be, and plenty of times they'll be completely how's ignored how's it gonna affect my battery life how's it gonna affect the price of the system when that's bundled yeah. in with it 
Right. No one hasn't even you know made yet. So it's 450 yeah. with a, a presumable regular controller. Right. If they want my DNA sample. I'd say uh, the other thing. I'm not. I'm not pumped on the idea <coughs> of sending biometric feedback back to uh, <laughs> unknown companies. Yeah. I'll, you want to know if I'm sweating? Let me tell you right now. I'm yeah. sweating. Yeah. So good. There, there, there's a good chance. There's a, good, <laughs> there's a very good chance. But yeah, I mean, it's, I'm curious to see what, like, it, what if it is anything and what they do with yeah, it. Yeah, I remember like Nintendo had like that heart rate monitor thing for oh, yeah. a while too, and, shit, and then I don't think I don't think anything ever there came was like of it. one game and nothing. And, oh, I don't think it ever came to the states either. I, I don't think it. Yeah, I don't think it made so it here. I think it stayed overseas. Weird things happen in the game industry from time to time. Yeah. So sure, why not? Give me. Give me a sweat. Uh, as long as, as long as it's not another, another flipping light bar that drains my battery. No one's gonna. No one's gonna be really funny. Like I want to know what games you really use that touchpad for something outside of just a button, and what games like if they if that's really what's gonna happen, then not being able to be back compatible. Like what those that list of games would look like. It's, I, I, I think Uncharted Four had you use something at yeah. some point. I. I'd be curious on that because. One of the things Xbox is saying is like all your Xbox One controllers and accessories will work on Series X. Right. You know, so if it, if that's a thing holding them back, I mean, couldn't they put the game out and be like, you need to use a DualShock Four for this? Probably. Yeah. There's gonna be some. I mean, it's the same thing. Like if you try to boot up a PlayStation VR game and you don't have a headset on, be like, turn your headset <laughs> on, you goober. Like you know what I mean? Right. So, right. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing because I mean because clearly I mean the because they they've already said that the the controllers are backwards compatible, right, for PS5? Or has that just been speculation? I, I honestly don't know. Uh, okay. I feel like they have they've be, talked though, right? about... They, well, I feel like they've to. talked... You don't, I, don't know, yeah. I, would, I, mean, I would think but. they would work because you can use a PS4 controller on a PS3. Right. I know some I, of the functionality is different, but yeah. I feel like there was some kind of talk about backwards compatibility. I really don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't know that. I, I th- I, and, but I feel like something like that came up at some point, but I don't know. All right. Oh, no. I want to buy a new headset. I just bought a new headset. Um, that's all we got. So next episode, episode 100. Woo-hoo. So what we have decided to do. <laughs> I hope this is better for that in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, I need you to gargle some lemon and salt. <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, Ark came up with the idea. Um, now we did, we, we, like for the episode 50, we did, came up with 50 things we love about video games. So what we're going to do now is, is for, well, not now, but two weeks from now, is we're going to do a bunch of List individual list that we're gonna all gonna come up with. It's gonna end up some equaling. individual, some we might you know collaborate on. Oh, yeah, we're, we're all gonna come up to as it end up being like a list of about a hundred things. Sometimes it's broken up by ten or twenty, whatever it is. But we're gonna have, uh, you know, just some of them. I you know I we haven't talked about them yet because we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. But like, it's gonna be. I got a couple of funny ones. I got some good ones. I got some personal ones and things like that. And it's kind of, I don't know. It's be a little bit of a celebration of the thing that we love. I think it's, it's, so it's how we decided to do. It'll be a series of lists that totals out to a hundred total items. There you go. It might be 10 lists of 10. It might be two lists of 50. Who the hell knows? Mm. It might be 100 lists of one. That, oof, oh, my God. <laughs> okay. That, that it will so not be 100 I lists of I one. I can't even think of one thing I would list one of in video games. I don't know. Fine. 50 lists of two. Okay, that works. I can do that. That might, that might be doable. <laughs> All right. We will see you next time, stickheads.